Hi guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. How are you today? I am okay. Today is a very over to update in my Wizard of Panning Project Pan. This was created by my dear friend Amanda and is being hosted by the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group. If you liked Pan and are not part of the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group, you should go check them out. They are an amazing group of ladies. I think it's just ladies. We might have some men in there. Individuals, great group of individuals. This is a year long project. It started on January 1st and it goes through the end of this year. And it is based off of the Wizard of Oz. I love the Wizard of Oz but I love Amanda more. And so that is why I'm doing this project. And I have my glasses on so I can read what each item is for because I do not have them memorized. I know I'm using them, but I don't know what I mean, what the topic is. So to start off, we have Dorothy, and that is something you were naive to think you could pan. I picked a lip product because, well, I thought I could rock a lip stick of any kind and yeah I can't I can't so I brought in my Maybelline nocturnal rose I just took out my nose and it was basically brand new I'd only used it a few times this is what she looks like a beautiful cool to cool toned um lipstick and I did measure her. My goal is to use off the tip. So, you know, once that is below here, when I measured, I don't have a pin on me, so I am just slightly below that top line, if you can see that. So, well, I've used this quite a bit. I have not made a lot of progress. The next one is for the Wizard of Oz, something that is deceiving. I brought in my Cargo HD Illuminating Palette, and I brought it in because these three are very deceiving. I'm sorry, are very deceiving to me. This one is the shade called Bright. This is Beam and this is bronze. So those are the three right there, bright, beam, and bronze. Let me see. Bright, beam, and bronze. That is it. This, the bronze, I always think of it more as a contour than as a bronzer. And I always thought of this as the bronzer, but it's more of a highlighter. I am learning, although I don't, I still use it as a bronzer and not as a highlighter. And then this is such a deadly highlighter. Look at that. It's kind of a natural highlighter. There, it um, isn't like, overly glittery, but it is very blinding. So it looks matte, but it is blinding. Does that make even make sense? Hence, it's in the something deceiving category. I do like it. My goal is to hit pan on every single, um, every single one of these, not to finish them up, but to just hit pan on every single one. The next one, is for Tin Man and it was to be something silver and I brought in my IT Brow Power Universal Taupe Brow. Pencil. I have finished it. Um, unfortunately what happened is this um, broke off and what was left, which was just a little bit, got stuck inside the cap. And so I can't get it out. Because every time I try to do it, it just breaks it more. So this is done. Um, 
I'm glad it's done because I universal don't. taupe does not mean that um, it's a universal shade for everyone. Hence me. Okay, the next one is Scarecrow. Something you're scared to pan. I brought in my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick in Mink. I have used this a couple of times. Well, more than a couple of times, but I it doesn't get a lot of use um, because I forget to use it, to be honest with you. I did mark it and let me see if I can show you where I'm at. I am a little bit below that line. So I still have quite a bit left to go. See, I do have quite a bit left to go. I will mark that. I just need to use it more. It's a little dark for me, but I can plug away. Cowardly Lion, something out of your comfort zone. I picked my Essence um, lip liner in under my skin or under your skin, one of the two. When I first bought these, these were really soft and creamy and now they are not. So I have not used this a whole heck of a lot, but I have used it. And of course I will mark this after I get done, but that is how much I have used. Not a whole lot, but some progress. It's all about progress, right? All about progress. The next one is for Glinda, something glittery, and it could even be a um, shimmering lotion. So I brought in my Tempting um, Shimmer Body Lotion by Sofia Vergara. Um, this scares me. I'm not into shimmering lotions, but it smells good. So I do use it. The, my mark came off. It looks like I had it marked right here. Oh, I did. And then I marked it right there. So I am about right there. That is, that is an accurate marking for today. Then something Wicked Witch of the West or Miss Gulch, something that you want out of your collection. I picked um, these singular masks, whether they be sheet masks or just single masks, but I picked these single package masks. So I have not used a single one of these. So I'm not even making progress on that one. Toto, something you absolutely love. I've brought in my Aussie Three Minute um, Miracle. This one is in strong. I prefer moist, but Amazon sent me strong. So this is my last one, but I love Aussie um, Three Minute um, masks. I think they're awesome. Munchkin, something that you use to protect your skin. I brought in my A La Maison Fig and Basil body lotion, but I think my brother took it because <laughs> I think I saw it in his bag and I have not seen it for a long time. So that's okay. I just brought in something else. I brought in my Co Palmer's Cocoa Butter um, Daily Skin Therapy. And I know I have used this, but it takes such a little bit to use. I think I'm like right here. So pretty much new. The Lollipop Guild, something candy related. I brought in my Marshmallow Blush by The Body Shop. It's just a cool toned blush. It's so pretty. Um, I love this blush. It's getting more use now that I have finished another blush, but it's just very, very pretty. My goal was just to wear off the rounded part on the top of, oops, I hope I didn't break my nail, um, of this blush. And I am, I've almost done that. So I don't think I will hit pan on this, but any movement past that, you know, if I can get it a dip, awesome. Okay, monkey, something that stalks you. 
and I picked my Bitsy Sweetie Pie um, nail polish. I, where am I? I love how this looks. I hate how it <laughs> looks on the nail. I think it's gorgeous, but the glitter kind of clashes with the yellow. So when I brought it in, I was right here, and now I am right there. It's pretty, but it's not, if that makes any sense. Horse of a different color. We were to bring in something duochrome. I brought in my Come and Get It eyeshadow by ColourPop. And that is it right there. It's so pretty. It, it's kind of like a rose gold, if you want to look at it that way. It's kind of this pink and it flashes peach and gold. Love it. Auntie M, something that's comforting. I brought in my Mario Badescu facial spray. This one is the Aloe Chamomile and Lavender. When I brought it in, it was brand new. I marked it at last update, but it's come off. But I am now right there. So I will mark that. Uncle Henry, something that brings back good memories. I brought in my Lush um, bar soap in Honey, I Wash the Kids. I purchased this when I was in Hawaii with Jordan. That brings back good memories of going into Lush and just having fun. Okay, Yellow Brick Road, something yellow. I brought in my Clinique Deep Comfort Body Butter. I have started using this, but it's pretty much brand new. As you can see, I just used it a couple of times. It um, takes such a little bit, but it literally feels like butter. Emerald City, something green. I brought in my Spongibles Petty Scrub in Shea Butter and Tea Tree. I have like three or four of these, and so this is, I have a couple of them in projects, but this is another one of them. Something red for ruby slippers. I brought in my Body Shop Strawberry Body Polish. I haven't started this yet because I'm using a different body scrub, but I will start on it. Then my last one is for poppies. It is something you use only at night. I brought in my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I did finish that on the 5th of March, but I can't find the jar so that is my update make sure you go check out the others who are doing this their links will be down below that way you can see the the items that they're using for their project you guys take good care be safe and i will see you on the next one bye